Welcome true readers, this is Michael for Spirit Comics to my review of Red Hood and the Outlaws number 2 which came out in 2016 and this is something I have not I have not seen on comic books very often is where they put the uh, balloon that the balloons you know right like this I think it always makes the comic book more interesting and that's Artemis the Amazon with her arms wrapped around Red Hood's head. He says, I guess Amazons don't have a word for uncle. Now that the cover is interesting just for this alone. I don't know what that is in the background, nor do I really care. But, you know, up here we see a bat. It's just to tell us I believe no matter what Red Hood does, he's always going to be tied to Batman. I mean, we I, I saw that in uh, in the Dark Knight's Metal number two. This and now Artemis. So let's get into this story. Now previously, we saw Artemis standing before him, wielding her huge axe now this is Artemis narrating here even before I was born I had reassurances mother would speak to me every night before we slept she told me I would be named Artemis that I was destined for greatness, a warrior without peer. I was to be a benevolent but firm representative of my people, the champion of the Amazons. By him of Arthur, it is a thing of beauty. And I do believe this is, you know, the, the path. You know, a flashback. Because we gotta have to understand the... You know, some backstory about Artemis. He says... Even as late as my 16th year, I believed those whispered promises. And then... Something explodes. In some uh, apparition appears and I cannot I don't know how to how pronounce that name Nephantis Nephantis I, I I don't know no no fair goddess you promised me a weapon of my own and she says and of course, you set your heart on the bow of Ra, capable of shooting stars from the night sky. You, your youth shields you from the obvious, Artemis. A warrior does not choose her weapon. Rather, it chooses you. Give me the bow. We belong together. I can feel it in my core, she says. Someday, perhaps, when the gods feel you have earned her, not a moment before. The origin of my Greek, my name is Greek, but the gods I worshipped were Egyptian. And that probably should have been my first clue. I think it's uh, the artwork is beautiful how they open this up with Artemis and and the side view of her her face very detailed and her red hair just almost framing her face that it was all a damn lie so I guess she's sort of discovering the same as Wonder Woman did. 
tonight 15 miles outside of Gotham City and there she stands again Artemis she's so strong has those strong arms strong legs and the beautiful red hair in a ponytail I'm Jason Todd Red Hood I started out I started off the night by infiltrating black mass burgeoning criminal empire the advantage I have as a high profile criminal going where Batman never could two hours later I'm squaring off against this woman who tosses steel train doors around like they're they're made of cardboard Artemis says I don't know who you are and I don't really care it's clear we both want the contents of this train flake off now and I won't smack you around for making my job harder than it already was I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of fighting women. She says, not to worry, I'm not just any woman, I'm an Amazon. I knew it, but still. Dark Trinity, Part 2, Paradise Lost. My boss, back there, Black Mask. He asked me to grab some kind of weapon on this train. So unless that weapon is you, please stand aside and we'll be on our way. She says, By the three beards, you really don't know the amount of power you want to turn over to this man. I've been looking for this weapon since I was 16, and I'm not about to let to let you to walk away with something that can destroy the entire world. Blam, blam, blam. I notice you're not wearing magical bullet deflecting bracelets, so you don't have a say in what I do or don't do here. I'm not going to kill her. As if I could, Jason. Jason narrates, but this should get her to back off. Should being the operative word. She says, who needs bracelets? When you've got, you know, when you're a strong woman like that. She, sa she says, men and their guns, so typical. I don't need a weapon to deal with someone as fragile as you. And then he said, and Red Hood says, Who you calling fragile, princess? She said, and she, she says, To be crystal clear going forward. Bam! Right in his head. Do not. And over here. Call me, bam, kicks him, looks like just above the groin. Princess, and now he's on his, on the ground, got it. So what do I call you? Artemis is fine. And here is kind of a, th this panel is kind of strange. Because there's nothing here in the background. It's just white. You know, and that's... That's kind of odd because if you look over here, it shows them against the darkness of night. But here, there's nothing. Before you kill me, satisfy me, my curiosity. What is on that train, he says. 
It's called the Bow of Ra, Artemis says. A weapon of incalculable power. An ancient artifact forged in the dark furnace of a black soul. It is the end of all this is or ever will be. Let's hope my body armor taser is still holding a charge since I used it last week. Are you sure you aren't overselling this thing? Black Mask is more is more crime boss, less annihilator of life on earth. Perhaps you don't know him as well as Here goes nothing, he thinks. And uses the taser on her. Which barely phases Artemis. But she falls. I mean, it does, it does some damage. He says, why do I feel bad about that? Sure, she wanted to kill me. But only to protect the world from this bow of Ra, which honestly does sound a little foreboding. It wouldn't be the wor first time I was wrong about Clap, clap, eh? Splendid! Black Mask was watching. You're every bit as resourceful and determined as I imagined, son. You are going to make the perfect heir to my life's work. Right, he thinks. But then he thinks back to years ago with Batman. Like I haven't heard that line before. So, boss, you going to tell me what th this was all about? Of course, there are no secrets between us. Not anymore. Let me start by saying that I don't know where she got her intel from, but it's all wrong. On this train is cutting-edge science, the future of genetics. Trust me. So here, in the dead of night, Artemis is getting up from that charge. There's nothing ancient about it. And he, Artemis thinks to herself, Goddess alive, I'm getting sloppy. The kid caught me off guard, but he doesn't. he didn't finish the job. So he's either an idiot... To me, mistress. And that's her. She's calling her axe. Or there's something else going on here. What I'm about to show you changes everything, Black Mask says. Between you and me? <laughs> Between us and everybody. He... And there, and Artemis lunges her axe at him, and he jumps down. Because, you know, he's trying to protect Black Mask so he can get the intel that he needs. And Red Hood says, an axe that comes to her when she calls like she wasn't scary enough. With her bare hands? <laughs> Artemis says, You, the red one, we are not done here. Because she wants to kick his ass. That taser should have put her out for at least a few minutes, he thinks. Then she swings... Her axe again. Actually, we are more done than you realize, Red Hood says. It sounds like you and I are looking for two different things, so you should wrap it up here and move on. Because Red Hood wants to stay with Black Mask, not because he likes him, but because he wants to get the intel on Black Mask. He wants to get the nitty gritty. He said that he w needed to become one of them. 
in the Gotham Underground. Because Black Mask is, you know, he's bad news. Step away from the frail Red Hood. I have you covered. Rat -ta -tat -tat -tat, rat -ta -tat -tat. I've got this, guys. We need to find out what she knows. Do they not realize you're using your body to cover me? She says, You're a lot more noble than you first appeared, Artemis says. That's one for my gravestone. It's just the two of us here. You can drop it now. Great. What am I dropping? <laughs> this whole bad guy riff. I was trained in battle out of the womb. I know when someone is pulling their punches. She gets to she get she gets a good sense of Red Hood right off the bat. She wants to low down on him. And plus, you know, her featuring her in this in this story, showing off Artemis, what she can do, you know, that gives me the reader, and gives you the reader, an idea of how powerful she is. Red Hood says, "Fine, but for the record, I am a bad guy." I'm just a bad guy who's trying to play by the rules to take down Black Mask. Whose rules? She says. It doesn't matter. In a battle, the terms of engagement are all that matter. You're obviously not law enforcement, or you wouldn't be letting him get away with half this crap he's pulled. And you're not a member of the Justice League, because frankly... You're not good enough. <laughs> Fine. I'm playing by Batman's rules. Sort of. He and I have different ideas on how to deal with crime in Gotham City. He does the whole criminals are a cowardly lot thing. And you're trying to disassemble that from within? That's sound. Yeah, well, he's not convinced. Believe me when I say you don't know what it's like having a guy like Batman breathing down your neck. And she says, you might be surprised. Oh, right. Are you secretly working for Wonder Woman? She says, please. I'd eat an invisible jet before I'd let Diana tell me how to live my life. And of course, that's a, a nod to how Wonder Woman used to be. She had an invisible jet at one time, way before the new 52 that ran from 2011 to 2015, back, like back in the 80s. Right, I believe you, he says. Look, maybe we can help each other here. And she says, that's like a bird offering the wind to help help hold up the sky. But I already have wasted enough time fighting you, so I accept your terms of surrender. <laughs> I, I love her. He says, my God, you are such a fine call to surrender. Ready? On three. One, two. Does counting make you feel smarter? <laughs> Makes me laugh. He says, Okay. Did not see this coming. You continue to impress, Red, Black Mask says. Now, boys, let's pop the broad and get out of here. And that's a, that's a really nice splash page. On this side, Red Hood. On that side, Artemis. And she says, don't take this the wrong way, Red, but maybe strategy isn't your strength. <laughs> Boy, that means a lot coming from 
not Wonder Woman. <laughs> what do you think is my jam? Really? Nothing really jumps out at this time. Just this minute, not Batman. <laughs> Will you get down already? Because they're... He acts like he's trying to attack her when actually he's trying to keep her from being shot by Black Mask and his crew. He's stealing the entire train? He's stealing the entire train car? I think I've got it now. She says. A way out? No, I think you excel at shouting out the obvious. <laughs> Unfortunately, unless you can fly, we're out of luck, Prince Artemis. The power of flight eludes me for a year for now. Yes. But if I am encumbered I can cover a distance in a single bound. Nod to Superman. He says, Yeah, well, good for you. But we need to stick together right now. I guess we're stuck, right? And then all of a sudden, Fring! She flings him out. Because look at him go. He lands. No, he didn't land. He he caught on to he he caught on to the transport. He says, "Great, I liked it better when we were mortal enemies." <laughs> and you can see that uh, he's hanging on to that crate, and I believe that's Artemis firing at the. Firing at the crate? No, she's not firing at the crate. She... Well, let's just go on with the story. You really have to figure out a better way to treat your allies. Is that what you think? You, you are, to me, an ally? That would be like... A puma believing he was an ally because he was too slow to outrun a lion. And your metaphors, too. And she says, What's, what is wrong with my metaphors? <laughs> so I've got good news and bad news. Now, who's saying this? Yeah, that's a... He says, he says he's got good news and bad news. And Artemis says, uh, he says, the good news is, it's pretty clear this wasn't the ancient weapon you're looking for. She says, that is good news. The bad news is, he says, if that's what I think it is, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need your help. He says, please tell me you still have your axe. And she looks at him sort of angrily. And this is a, you know, good, a good glance at the star between her eyes. You know, sort of like, you know, remember Wonder Woman has a star on her tiara? She's always where she needs to be. He says... Yeah, well, you might want to have her make an appearance. She says, by the gods, is that him? I'm guessing no. Black Mass said this game changer had to do with genetics. You're saying that's a clone? Now she appears shocked. Because who do they see? Da 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 da! Superman? I'm saying I think 
we just helped a crime lord steal his very own Superman. Next issue, enter Bizarro. So that was Red Hood and the Outlaws, number two. I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. The artwork was good, but it could have been better in some places. So overall, uh, it's a it, this is, this is a good start to this series, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. There wasn't any you know cliche type remarks or any anything that was cringy. Thank goodness. But I, if I, if I had to, if I, if I was just reading this today, I would go out and probably get the trade paperback. Maybe I don't know. There is a trade paperback out now for the Dark Trinity, the you know, part, the volume one of this series. So I hope you enjoyed this as well. If you did or didn't, leave me a comment below. I'm Michael for Spirit Comics. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. And smash that bell like She-Hulk. So you can be notified of all future uploads. Also like and share this review if you did enjoy it. Till next time.